Hey YouTube. The last time we had a look at these lids, we found out there was a difference. And it basically it started off with doing some hearts. Okay, here's one of the hearts. And this is one of the other hearts. Okay, the heart, this heart and a couple others didn't turn out. And I was wondering why. Because they all are HDPE. And then a, it's just the type of plastic it is. Different brand of plastic. But basically how it goes is that this plastic, this is a dark Coke. What happens is it holds more pressure than what a um, milk bottle does. Okay, so with that, and it doesn't, this one doesn't melt and flow, whereas this one flows in the mold, whoops, and it gives us a nice looking heart. Okay, so, and I was having a think, how can we use this to our to our advantage? Not the flow, but this one. Okay, what you can do, there's two ways you can use these in your um, in your project. The first way is you just put these straight into your mould. And if you're not worried about uh, the fl flow of it, you just put more, more and more of these in, and just squish down your um, uh, your uh, billet that you're trying to make. Then that's fine. You can use these, you can use these lids, and that you wouldn't have a problem. It's only when you want to try and make a mold of like these hearts or a hand or anything like that. That's where our issue comes. All right, so another way you can use these is that you can use these in a hand. I have done in the past, but I didn't understand it then, but now I do. What you do is if you just put, if you want to put this in your hand, that's fine. Just put it in and it'll just melt in one solid lump and that's fine you can use that to build up like bulk bulk of the material then you have to at least use milk lids to flow around and and fix up the shortcomings that these ones make okay what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to use these red ones and I'm going to make a little disc out of red you won't worry about the other colors not until later but I think to prove the point of this experiment we're just going to use the red okay what I'll do is I'll spray I'll spray this off camera Just make sure we get an even coverage with our mold release. Okay, so what we do, I'll put them up like this. So I won't use that one. We just put the rest on. Okay, we just put that in the oven. And we've got the oven set at what we had it before the other day, about 175, around there. 
This is our new oven that we got. We have two bucks. All right. It's in the oven. And we'll show you when it comes out because we're going to do a process on that. Okay, I've just taken the Coca-Cola lids out of the oven. What we're going to do now is we are going to press them, press them flat. Hopefully. Oh, didn't work. Did it did work, but my my block doesn't fit in. Bugger. They, did, they will pl they will go flat. Do it another way. Hmm. Might have to find a bigger, um, bigger one for that to fit in. Hey YouTube. You know, the plan is that we just melted some uh, red lids, and now we're just flat, going to flatten it with this uh, this block block of aluminium. So what I need to do is I need to press it in shape. I need to put it back in the oven again. Basically, what we want is a flat, a flat, um, flat piece of plastic. Might see if I can find a couple more lids. If not, I'll put it back in the oven and try and flatten it out with the with the block and the G clamp. Be back. Okay, it's been the been the next day. And now what I've done is I've just taken the clamp off and I've just moved it over here to show you. All right, so what we've done is we've created a disc, a thin disc. I really wanted to make a little bit thicker, but the next one I'll make a bit thicker. But this one at the moment, this is good enough. Okay, basically what I've done is I've just put the lids in so that the writing is on the top okay so we're not going to we're not going to have that side showing but what we're going to do is we're going to have this side showing all right anyway, so that's red what I'm going to do is I'm going I want to make another color go with another color uh, so we'll put that aside then what we'll do is we'll do the same as what we did before this time I'll either go with the the vanilla lids, or possibly the black lids, or the green lids, depending on, actually, no, I won't go with the vanilla ones, we'll go with the black or the, um, the green, just got to see if we've got enough um, black lids, okay, once I figure how many lids we've got, then we'll, um, We'll start off melting the, um, putting them in and melting them. Right, so I think black seems to outweigh the green. So we're going to go with black as our, our first one. If I can find some more green in amongst my piles, I'll have a look and I'll try that. But at the moment, we're going with black. Not all of them are actually coke lids. But they are uh, soft drink lids, so that's the um, that's what we're going to be using. Soft, the soft drink um, HDPE seems to be a bit um, harder, or not not necessarily harder, but it's, it f doesn't flow, and that's what we're going to be using it for our principles, for our experiment. Just need to go and. Take out, take out all these bits, the ones that I find anyway. 
all the other ones. We'll just actually first I'll do is spray that our mold release and put our lids in. Even our rings, we'll use our rings. Just make sure your lids are clean. I just put them up this way just so I can have the names at the top or one direction. Don't necessarily need to put them all in right now because I just want to have an area where I can put the um, put our block over the top and s squish it down. All right, so that's it's a bit slippery because of the mold release. We'll go with that at the moment. We'll just put that in the oven. Into the oven we go. While that's in the oven, I'll see if I can uh, round up some more black lids. In the process, I'll see if I can find some uh, green lids. Yeah, just take the, I just have taken the coke lids out of the, um, the oven for the first time. They look pretty good. Soft, just move them towards the center. Just initial squish that. Right. Now what we do is we just put our other lids on the top. What we want to try and do is make a pile of lids. So when we actually squish it, we'll at least have um, a greater thickness than the um, than our red cousin. All right, back in the oven we go. Just taking it out of the oven for the last time. Now what we need to do is we need to press our, our plastic. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll put this over on, on the press and I'll clamp it down. You can't see that. Hey YouTube, I've just drawn out a, a rough K on our red disc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out. Then I'm going to draw a couple other designs on the other discs. Then what all we're going to do is we're just going to cut this out on the bandsaw. I won't show you the cutting process, but I'll just show you the, the after effects. Then you'll be interested to know what I'm going to do with it then. So yeah. Okay, there's the uh, results of the K. That turned out quite all right. The only thing we have to do is just, just deburr it a bit. Other than that, that'll just melt off anyway. Turned out better than what I expected. I just did that by hand, drew it by hand, so not a problem. The next one, we'll see if we can um, do a bit better design. All right, that's it.